<clears throat> Hello, we're Malta. We're going to talk about uh, these two, pa this pair of photographs. Now they're by a firm which is still called Giancio, and it was originally a Maltese bookbinding company, begun by someone called John. Giancio, C I A N C I O. They're, they're the current, current on there, the original Fuji imported into Malta. So the company goes back before modern photography, and it goes back before early photography, and it goes back before photography, it goes back to bookbinding. So in Malta, this company was quite switched on, and the character John. Giancio, whose firm Massey, as I say, got the Fiji dealership, which is obviously massively important for them. They, they were quite advanced in, in photography on the island, and uh, around 1900, they were making homemade photography using basic ingredients for, for photography. I'm not an expert, eggs, eggs and things like that. So, what, what this company did, um, I, I say about 1900, judging by the frame, is they are here have taken two photographs of two local paintings. They're not prints in the normal sense of the word. They're not lithographs, not chroma lithographs. They're, they're photographs. And it is my belief that they were taken one at a time not made in runs because it was an early type of photograph. So the photograph would have been unclear and monochromic probably, and the colour has been painted on by hand. And the painted colour is ordinary but adequate. So what, you, what you're guessing is Maltese frames, which are very, very ordinary, Water gilded at the front on, on the, uh, in fact, it looked like a silver gilded. Probably silver gilded with shellac on the front, and they have economised by painting the sides in ochre paint. If we have an article about on, the, on another YouTube uh, video on our on our channel, there is another article about these painted sides on many paintings. So it's a Maltese standard frame using leaf, I think silver leaf with shellac. Oh, it looks like gold leaf. Ochre sides, solid pine, not, not pressed or laminated. And you have these scenes. The scenes are the paintings in the cathedral in Valletta, painted by Caravaggio. <clears throat> and the most famous one is the beheading of St. John, which is fairly gruesome. And a very big picture, the most famous picture in, in Malta. This is the, the writings of St Jerome, which is also in the same museum, the same church, I should say. And it has a little monogram, which is rather nice, that's on the original as well. Um, so Caravaggio was not Maltese, but he is considered a Maltese painter by the Maltese. And Pretty is another one who who's not Maltese, he's foreign, he's, he painted a lot here in Malta and he's considered Malta, a Maltese painter. Um, of course, he, he's, you know, the, being Italian or Calabrian, they're, they're more Maltese than, for example, Lear, who came to paint here, was English. but. I, I, I've, I've got to say I struggle with the reasoning of the Maltese clinging so rigidly to Caravaggio, given that he, was, he is not Maltese. I mean, Canaletto, for example, painted Warwick Castle, one from Warwick in the Midlands in England. No one's suggesting Can Canaletto is English. It's just farcical. So, so we have we have these these paintings in Malta by Caravaggio, which are good paintings, of course they are. And they've stayed here, they were commissioned here, and the paintings were done here. 
and they are they're still involved and they are still in the letter. But the, these are examples of early Maltese photography, homegrown, pre-industrial photography, with a local recipe for the exposure. Um, I, I think that they, they have an interesting texture. I, I think they're unusual. Uh, I don't buy prints, many, many prints, but I think these are these are sufficiently interesting to to, 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 co to collect, to buy, woefully underpriced, and um, given the fact that people are piling into limited edition prints, which by their very definition are multiples, that's what we call them in London, they have these sales called multiples, um, it's euphemistic for mass produced really. Um, you know, what, what, how valuable should a print one of 3,000 be worth? Because if they're making limited editions of a print, it doesn't mean they're not making unlimited editions in addition. So it's, it's a confusing, it's a confusing market. So go with your own gut feeling. And uh, if you like something, lock onto it and buy it. Um, I don't think there's a lot else I can tell you about them, they're just very simple uh, photographs, mounted on board, hand coloured. I think they would benefit from the oiling to bring the, the colours out and to give them a wet look. I think they would benefit from some patching. But fundamentally they're unusual, they're rare, they don't look like photographs, they look like little oil paintings. Thanks for looking.